Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I was about to say Ocarina of Wisdom. <laughs> I've been so distracted with a lot of Zelda games lately. In the last episode, we returned here to Jabul Waters at Zora's Cove and started some side quests available in Seaside Village. Making our way uh, only to Seaside Village, actually, because what we did was... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What did we do? We did a little bit of Seaside Village. Uh, what we are going to do, however, is make our way towards that shipwreck. The one that we saw earlier, a uh, few episodes ago when we were visiting the Zora, uh, Sea Zora clan for the first time. And discovering uh, that there was just some uh, stuff to do. Uh, now, we have discovered that there is something inside this wreck. Because one of the villagers at Seaside Village says that his ship is under attack. Ooh. It's a dungeon. I kind of hoped it was, to be honest. Okay, keys. Prepare to be defeated by an army. Eventually. There we go. Okay, let's get rid of all of them before they uh, dispatch too much. And I'm missing my frog ring. There. Okay. So what sort of secrets do we find? Bubble kelp. Oh, we've got a stairwell. Lots of rupees. Nothing new. And are the barrels? No, they're not interactable. Okay, down we go. Doop, 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 doop. Electro apple and bubble kelp. Well, we're getting a lot of material in this guy's ship. Oh, great, more of these things. Bring it on. Okay. I don't think Owl Patrol knows how to fight. Okay, crows. Attack it! Okay, where's my chompies? Chomp! Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now let's go back to the crows. Attack the keys! Okay. Uh. Before we completely shatter my hopes and dreams, let's put down. A rock and I see that there's a chest over here inside of it is rock tatoes I wonder if they break Zelda's teeth okay and dive Okay, let's get our fishy friend, the Tangler, level two. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, we found a chest. I am curious. If I go minus... No, there is no... Uh, oh, I'm out of air. I don't know what winding speed is. Sorry, my twist pumpkins. I guess you're gonna reveal those secrets later. Bless me. Grab and pull it off. Okay, I'm seeing a uh, beery up ahead. Oh, there's actually two beeries. Attack! 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 And never look back! Okay, we're in the crew quarters it looks like got ourselves five electro apples a sixth electro apple okay and let's get to a water block Kinda close. There we go. Now this must be the brig. Okay. 
Okay. That we just call all these guys back. There we go. Okay. And then let's get Chompies. Chompies. Don't worry, Chompies, you're all mine. Attack! I'm curious what these monster stones are for. We still have not figured that out. We got 20 uh, more rupees. And up we go. More bubble kelp, 43. And that's electro apple. Go! Baronade. I was not expecting Baronade of all enemies. actually really interesting out of all the bosses to re return baronade was not on my bingo card This thing is actually causing me damage. Okay. Attack! A 
Okay, are we on phase two now, Baronade? Oh boy, it looks like we're on phase two. Another. Another. At least there's four left. Three left. Okay. Was not expecting a Baronade. That's super cool. And that clears another side dungeon. Okay. Let's head back to town and talk to the, uh, the fisherman. This was a cool concept for a dungeon. It's too small to have been a big dungeon, but like still a unique enough idea that they could have just, they could use it. Okay. Uh, no, it was you. Okay. I saw a whole lot of something happening way out of my sh ship. Some flashy, flashy stuff. That because of you? Did you take down that zappy monster? <laughs> hey, that took a real zip, kid. You saved my ship. You saved me from feeling so sunk. I'm going to work on rebuilding my ship so it can stand up to anything. And then, adventure! Well, you zippy kid, you've got my thanks. Take this, you've earned it. Oh, thank goodness, a second fairy bottle. That was worth it, actually. Getting a ship all fixed up isn't easy, but I've got the gumption to get it done. Okay. So that is that one. Let's head down to the Sea Zora first for side quest because they are right right these are did I miss them no I wasn't even close okay down and in Rest assured, I'll take excellent care of this treasure chest you gave me, Zelda. I don't know how I should feel about that. Let's go all the way to the back. I wish I could put her in such a glowing mood still. When she smiles, it brightens my day. Oh, Zelda, as always, welcome to the village of the sea, Zora. We are thrilled you are here, the one who saved Jabul waters. Okay, so nothing new there. Have you spoken with Lord Jabu Jabu? Well, as much as he can speak. I don't know if he understands our words, to be honest. Still, when I gaze into his perfectly round eyes, I feel such warmth and grace. Uh, I think he feels hungry. Okay. Hey! I know you helped me get this fine chest, but please don't go opening it without my okay. Okay. I did have to see what happened if I tried to open his chest. 
Okay, so it looks like we're done with the sea. Oh, there's a quest. Has Chief Kushara been avoiding me? What else could it be so suddenly? I must have done something wrong. She must think me an unreliable assistant. Oh, Lady Zelda, I fear you've heard me going on about my predicament. You see, Chief Kushara has been acting a little peculiar lately. She's been leaving our village often, ever since our troubles with the rift stopped. Yet, when I ask what's taking her away from us so frequently, she says it's nothing at all. I did find out, however, that Chief Kushara has been consulting Chief Drad on some matters. This isn't unusual, given they were friends long before they were our chiefs. But we're used to her rel relying on all of us, Caesar, too. So this makes me feel quite uneasy. Lady Zelda! Can I trouble you to ask Chief Trad what this mysterious matter is? Perhaps you can get an answer. I suspect that Chief Kushara told him to keep it from me. Oh. I'll give you anything you ask in return. Just please help me with this terrible situation. Ooh. Sounds like someone's in love with the chief. Let's make our way up. Because we actually have a rift up there to deal with as well. So I think I want to deal with that first. Ha. Oh, someone's house is back to being fixed. That's awesome. Okay. So there's supposed to be a rift even further. Yes, right there. Ha! Huh. Okay. Let's do the rift first. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda! Spinny, spinny, spinny! And in. I can sense my friends here too. They're trapped. There's three. Okay, so it's a smaller rift. Still, eastern. Oop. I definitely pressed B to jump. Okay, where is my chompy chomp? Okay. Water block. Okay, this gives us one, and, whoops, depth perception, and am I right? Okay, let's go on down. What's down here? Loop. Let's go left. Oh, this is going to be so nerve wracking. Oh. Okay. 
It's almost like top-down perspective, but not. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Hop. Oh, not that. Where is my Gerudo plate? Right here. Hop. Ah. Okay, there is a platform to land on. Hop. Okay, let's pull out all my chompy fishes. Get him! And this is number three! Ugh. We can mend the rift! Okay, try. Do a little spark dance. Little Luma Luma. Luma Lee Luma Bop. Welcome to the Luma shop. His friend shed power and oh, that's way smaller. You got two crystals. Take us back. Okay. Perfect. Now let's head back to the Zora River. My house got wrecked during the whole Lord Jabu Jabu mess, but everyone from here. But everyone from here, the Sea Zora Village and Seaside Village too, pitched in to repair it. I'm so incredibly thankful. I love my home. And now it's back to normal. Do you have someone inside with a side quest? No. Uh, you don't have a side quest. We have a side quest involving talking to Chief Dr- Oh. I've been the boss's new assistant for a few weeks. We were together all the time, but now this, I can't take it. Avoiding me whispering with Kushara. Seriously, what's this about? I'm new, I'm learning. So I get that he can't tell me everything. Still, I'm going on all the time. I. It's going on all the time now. I'm way past that. I'm boiling over. Huh? You don't want to know where the boss is? Hmm. Don't know. Ask the other River Zora in the village. He's been talking to some of them. Maybe they know something. Oh, I wonder if the chiefs are trying to plan a, a surprise. That fancy paper. Isn't that what the C Zora write letters on? Pretty sure, anyways. Hi there, Zelda. Do you want to know where Boss Dread's gone to? Only thing I know is he got a letter and then ran off in a hurry. Where? That I don't know, but I saw him talking to Tellum. He might know. I'd say talk to the other Zora here. You might find something. But Tellum's gone... Where Tellum's gone off to, I don't know either. Why don't you ask around? Everyone's working together to fix up anything that was broken, like houses and bridges. 
And I made friends with one of the Caesar who came here to help. Okay, that's super cute. The boss is doing too much. Looking for Boss Strad, he walked off. All of a sudden, right in the middle of our talk. Tell him might know more where he's headed off to. Tell him when fishing east of the village. I bet he's slacking off somewhere in a corner. Okay, well, that answers that question. Went off east of the village. Standing here, looking at the sky. This is probably tell him. Gah! Found me! I'm not slacking, I swear. I was about to start fishing. Huh? It's just you, Zelda. What are you doing here? What? You want to know where Boss has gone off to? I don't know for sure. You mentioned Chief Kishara. It's a wild guess. But maybe he's gone to the cave in Zora Cove? The Boss and Kushara used to play there since they were old enough to swim. It used to be a great, uh, great for swimming races, but lots of monsters live in that cave now. Okay, so I'm assuming it's, yes, that cave. The one the kid was trapped in before where Drad played his horn. We are cutting it a little close. But this seems to be the only other side quest currently in the area. So we might as well finish it up. Ah, uh, Miss Zelda, I'm sorry that I left my post. I sparred Chief Kushara, you see, and then I followed her here. Then Inawa found me. Chief Dread has been avoiding Inawa. We're in the same boat, it seems. She and I are going to ask the chiefs what's been going on, but our timing is off. Why don't I come up and say, Huh? Ah, uh, Zelda, what brings you here? <laughs> what? Inawa and Ragma say we've been acting different? No, we aren't. Not at all. You're being weird! Hmm. Inawa, please, we shouldn't. Huh? I want answers now. Oh. Boss, what's the big idea of avoiding me? Having secret meetings with Kushara? Sure, I'm new to the job, but it's my job, and I want to do it right, and or not at all. Yes, I feel just the same. Perhaps some matters are for chiefs only, but we are here to be of assistance. <sighs> Sorry. Oh. <sighs> so here's the truth. The two of us want to thank the two of you. Not sure how yet. But it's our fault you two were put in harm's way during the crisis. We thought it best to put our heads together, just Kishar and Drad, no formalities. We want to, our thanks to be personal, though we're still trying to figure out what's best. Looks like we bungled it, though. Didn't mean to make you two worry. It's hard to just be ourselves in matters where we should speak from the heart. So, Ragma. Y yes? Thank you for saving me. I'm not perfect, but I hope I can keep asking for your support. Ch Chief Kishara. Of course, nothing in the world would make me happier. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Hey, thanks to you too, Inawa. You know me. I charge right in, and I don't even see the small stuff. So yeah, thanks for keeping me out of messes before I make them, Inawa. Boss, never knew you felt that way. But maybe you could charge in a little less and look around a little more. <laughs> Still, I'm a happy Zora. I'll look twice as hard to keep things on an even kneel. Keel. It seems that everyone's getting along fine now. You've helped us yet again, Zelda. You and that round thing you keep with you. 
I'm not a round thing. I'm try. Sure, sure. You got it, round thing. At some point, I'd like to meet this round thing you keep talking about. Aww. That's kind of cute. Thank you, Lady Zelda. You helped us clear up this difficult misunderstanding. You deserve something really special for all this. Please, accept this brooch. <gasps> you got a gold brooch. Wear this exceptional jewelry to make rupees appear more often when you break objects or defeat monsters. I think I'll return to our village now. I hope you'll come visit us again, Lady Zelda. Secret chief meetings. Okay. Uh, where am I trying to get to? Oh, I'm not even wearing the silver one. Well, that's fine. There we go. Because that is it. I didn't see anyone in North uh, Zora's Domain wanting to do any side quests. I guess the only other thing I'd want to try to see is if Jabu Jabu has something. Or there's someone at Lord Jabu Jabu who will want to give me something. So let's take a quick peek before I warp back to another location. Lord Jabu Jabu's den. All done cleaning up the rubble. Hey, didn't I do a great job? You did great. Ha, I know. I guess if you're here, you probably came to see Lord Jabu Jabu. Just head right on in. Okay. Talk. He seems happy and content. Now, I'm pretty sure there is no cave back here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't have a war point at Hyrule Castle? So lame. But you know what? It'll make a perfect uh, time for me to journey back up and do my sign off because that is it. So. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. In the next episode, we're going to return to Hyrule Castle Town, do a quick walkthrough to see if any characters in there have side quests for us. And once that's done, we will probably head south and circle around to... Start exploring Western Hyrule. Mm. Yes, I want to I want to explore more of Hyrule and see if I can get more heart pieces and stamps first before we uh, take on another big region like the volcano, the sacred mountain or Faron jungle. If you liked today's episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button and subscribe if you have not for more Echoes of Wisdom content. We will see you all next time where we've already got a side quest to take care of. We'll see you all then. Derez Plays is out. <laughs>